Hi, this is Trisha from Lemon Paper Lab. In this video, I'm gonna show you how you can take a pattern you've created in Photoshop and then vectorize it in Adobe Illustrator. I currently have a document open in Photoshop and I have my patterns panel open here. And I'm gonna take one of my patterns that I have previously created and I'm going to um, export it and then I'm gonna bring it into Adobe Illustrator to vectorize it. So. So I'm going to hover over the pattern here and I can see that it's a 1200 pixels by 1200 pixels pattern. I've already created that document here. So I'm going to go ahead and just click on this pattern here. Instead of exporting the file like this, I'm going to go ahead and double click here and I'm going to actually scale it down 50%. That way it repeats itself more than once here. So let's go ahead and export this file. So I'm going to go to file, save a copy. And give it a name and then I'm just gonna go ahead and save it navigate to where you want to save it and then I'm gonna change this to a JPEG and then I'm just gonna click on save clicking on OK and then I'm gonna jump into Illustrator I'm just gonna go ahead and create a file here I'm just gonna I'm just gonna do 600 pixels by 600 pixels and then I'm just gonna click on create and then we'll need to bring our image into Illustrator. So let's go to File, Place, navigate to your file, and then just click to Place. And then we can just click to place it in to our document here. First thing I'm gonna do is I am just going to check the size of this artwork. So I'm gonna go to Properties. And then here I can see that my width and height is 288. So I'm just going to make a note of that because we will use that value in a second. With it selected, we are now going to do image trace. Here at the top, you can click on image trace or you can go to window and bring up the image trace uh, options here. Looking at our options here under mode here, we have black and white. Clicking on advanced, we can see our other options here. Click on ignore color here and it will ignore our white. And then you just go ahead and click on trace here. And then we have our preview checked here, but you can uncheck it and check it to see our result. We can zoom in here and you can see um, the shapes that it's created. And you could always play with the um, and you can always play with the settings here under advanced of our pass, corners, noise to tweak how your um, tracing result appears. Zoom back out here. And when you have it set to what you like, you can just click to expand and it will expand everything from your tracing result. So we'll go ahead and minimize this here. And then to create a pattern out of it, we need to create a no fill, no stroke rectangle. So I'm going to right click, make sure we have our rectangle tool. We'll click on the document here. When we originally placed our image, it was 288. So we'll go to 88 divided by two, and then we'll enter those values here. And we have our rectangle. Accessing my move tool here. I will just highlight those and then let's just align them Right now we have align to selection selected here and then we will just Align it both vertically and horizontally together there And then I'm going to go to my layers just to see where we at we got our rectangle We'll go ahead and make sure our rectangle is selected and then we'll go to object, arrange, send to back. So we have it in the back, but we do need to change our fill to no fill. So we have our no fill, no stroke rectangle. And then we will go ahead and select all of that there. And then from here, you can drag it in to your swatches panel. And then let's zoom out here. Let's just get a circle shape here. Right click for our lips tool. I'm just gonna grab, draw a big circle here and then we will see our repeated pattern. Zooming in, we can see how it repeats here. I'm gonna go ahead and just delete our circle here. We'll come back in on this canvas. We have our group here and our rectangle. 
selecting my rectangle here, I'm just going to go ahead and copy it, Command or Control C, and then I'm going to hit Command and Control F to paste it in front. And then I'm just going to bring it to the top layer here. And then let's just give it a color here again. And then I'm going to select everything here. We're going to go to Object, go down to Clipping Mask and select Make. From here, we're going to go to our Pathfinder here. If you do not see Pathfinder, go ahead and select Window and select Pathfinder. And then we are going to do the Trim option here. And that is just going to take that clipping mask and just cut off the excess so we have our object here. And next, I'm just going to make this the size of my artboard. So I'm just going to click on Properties here and make this 600 by 600. And then we'll just align it here. We'll set X and Y to zero. And we have it aligned to our artboard. So now we have a swatch of our pattern that we brought in from Photoshop that you can now use as a vector pattern here in Illustrator. Thank you for watching this video on how to take your pattern from Photoshop and vectorize it in Illustrator using the image trace feature. If you like this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up and leave me a comment below. This is Trisha from Lemon Paper Lab. See you next time.